Sometimes, especially on longer notes, you may want to split a note, or as we call it, separate one note into two, in order to have more control over the beginning and end of this originally longer note. And here are all the details. Either choose the separation tool from the toolbox, or use the shortcut 6. Alternatively, and especially in Melodyne Essential, where there is no dedicated separation tool, use the main tool, the arrow tool, and move that slightly above the blob, so that it shows the separation icon. Now, double-click to add a new separation, or click and drag to move a separation, or double-click again to remove it. Separating a note is a purely optical change. It doesn't do anything with the audio signal itself. In this respect, it differs from slicing or cutting an audio waveform where you could introduce spikes or other artifacts. You can see this by looking at the pitch curve that runs through the blobs. Remember, this curve represents what we actually hear. When I separate a blob, or undo that separation, nothing changes in the curve. Let's have a look again. And as nothing changes to the curve, nothing changes in the audio itself. What does change, however, are the blobs. The original long blob goes away, and instead there are two new and shorter blobs created. According to their newly found pitch centers, they get aligned to the pitch curve. When you do such operations or undo them, you get the uh, impression that the blobs are jumping. And actually, they are, but again, this is just optical, not audible. However, your next actions will then change the audio because that's why you did the separations in the first place. And in some other films, which are linked at the end of this video here, I'll show you some musical examples for when you would want to use separations and when they are really, really helpful to your workflow and your musical results. So, thanks for watching. Bye.